welcome to Light Magic to Bro. Hello. I'm Sharder, your tarot card reader, and this is going to be the Capricorn reading for November 2020. Um, so I'm doing things a little different, switching it up. As you see, I'm in the front of the camera. I'm in the front of the camera as opposed to you just being able to see the cards. Please feel free to comment. Let me know uh, which view you prefer. And I'll try to switch it up from time to time. Um, other than that, I want to let you guys know, if you want to book a personal reading and you're looking at this on Instagram, you can check out my profile and DM me and we'll set it up. If you are watching on YouTube, I want to let you know that my website is currently down. So please feel free. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Um, please feel free to email me or hit me up on IG if, you, if you're not on IG. Um, other than that, Capricorns, what's up? <laughs> Like, I'm a cappy. You guys got me charged. I'm charged like a motherfucker. You might think, I mean, I know it's Scorpio season and all, but like, brah, I get it. You're ready. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Obi. Um, thanks for joining. So I'm just going to pull the energy. See what's up, Capricorns. It seems like y'all ready to kick it or something. You ready for your birthday? I'm ready for my birthday. <laughs> I'm a January Capricorn, by the way. Um and i like long walks on the beach <laughs> and long walks to the bank <laughs> oh lord Ooh, okay y'all got some stuff going on all right capricorns let's see let's see okay i'm gonna uh, pull one more energy card and then we'll talk about it okay <laughs> i am i'm here again <laughs> Um, what do I, oh, I want to let you know, if you're not following, on, following me on IG, please feel free to follow me. I'm like funny as fuck, okay? And I give out really good tips and all that jazz. Um, and if you're watching it on YouTube, please take the time to subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get more videos in the future. Um, and that's basically it. Okay, Cappy, check it out. Transformative energy, but look at you rising like the phoenix. Look at all that fire and that flame. So in order to, and this is in regards to alchemy, in order to get out the impurities, you need to burn it out. Burn out all the impurities so that you can emerge and be golden and rise, okay? So it says, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. I feel like whatever that was, that was some shit that happened maybe like two weeks ago um, where you might have blew up or... Whatever the case was. I know because I blew up. <laughs> but it's in regards to a lover. Okay? So, it seems like you're definitely going to have to make a decision in the love department. It says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So, you know when it comes down to life, you can't get it wrong. Right? You can only go right or left. There is no wrong or right. You can you always get it right. You always make the best decision because you know yourself. Hey, embracing me. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Now, I do want to let you guys know that this potentially could involve a proposal. If not a proposal, what this means is like an elevation in one of your relationships once you decide who you want to mess with or who you want to end up being with. So when I say elevation, like if you guys were friends with benefits, now you might be calling these, uh, each other like something, okay? Um, if you guys are like dating, then this person may propose, okay? So this is just a stair step in your whole relationship, Shindiggy. But I do want you to know the star card is here, okay? Because remember I was telling you about whatever fuckery happened maybe like one or two weeks ago? This is just like confirmation from the angels, letting you know that this is divine um, timing, okay? So it says, hard times are over. Look forward to abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So I see you shining. I see you shining. Taking some new, uh, <laughs> taking some new leaps of faith with the full card at the bottom of the deck, okay? And what this means, this means that you're trusting spirit and you're just jumping out there. Some shit that you ain't never tried before, but you ready to do it, okay? And you know that spirit has your back. So, I get it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clarify these cards with tarot, because that was just Oracle, okay? What exactly does the Phoenix mean to my Capricorns? Ooh, hoo -hoo, I almost don't even wanna fucking pull nothing else. Like, you don't need anything when it comes down to the card that just came out. What else is needed? 
yeah we just gonna stick with that <laughs> or not because a few more came out okay so bam <laughs> like like a living color was like bam okay so the will of fortune look at that the odds are changing, are turning in your favor. Your angels have your back. Your angels are in the background orchestrating shit. Mm -mm -mm, setting you up, okay? All the time while you are manifesting left and right, you calling things to you, you speaking things into existence. You have everything you need to manifest the life that you want, the life that you deserve, okay? And when I say the life that you deserve, I mean that you believe it down to every ember of your body, whether it be your soul, your spirit, your aura. You believe it etherically. You are a manifester, okay? It's coming to you very quickly, all right? With the eight of wands yes honey this is for capricorn all right let's go ahead and clarify the lover's card the lover's card let's see who you decide in between i'm nosy i'm nosy okay okay so one of them is definitely going to be a soulmate all right so this can be somebody from the past this can be someone that there's a tremendous amount of harmony with um, and it's very easy to be with that person, but the other person is you taking a leap of faith. Okay. You've never dealt with somebody like this person, but believe it or not, no matter what decision you end up fucking making, you got the 10 of cups at the bottom of the deck. That's emotional fulfillment. That's the best emotion card in the deck. Okay. So like, it doesn't matter who you end up picking. You want to know why? Because your happiness. All right. And whenever you decide what you want, you take that energy with you. So there's no way that one person can make you happy. It's you. You're the happiness. Okay, Capricorn. Ooh. Okay, so proposal, right? Or business venture. It's coming at you and it's coming at you quickly. There's nothing that you can do about this but sit up, sit down and go along for the ride, okay? Somebody on the outside is gonna be in their feels okay this is not you this is somebody on the outside looking in maybe this motherfucker didn't jump when they were supposed to jump maybe um they didn't come at you or try to pursue you in an appropriate time or fashion they're gonna be sad and they feel it like oh i messed it up you did you missed out and that's perfectly fine capricorn just go ahead and keep it moving because you deserve the best and you know that Okay, I did see the Empress card. So for those of you that are in that childbearing phase, please make sure that you are wrapping it up or you're protecting yourself because you will be pregnant. <laughs> and what this means is that any ideas that you touch will be abundant. All right, so when pregnancy comes around, it's not just pregnancy like in your body. It's you're giving birth to things on so many different levels, okay? All right, do want to let you know that a romantic offer is coming in it's a romantic gesture coming in all right this person is very romantic and they gonna surprise you with the with the tower card here you're not gonna see it coming they gonna do something very romantic okay it's about time shit <laughs> one more card to clarify the star card but i do want to let you know that you will be glowing during this time frame. So remember how I said that this is Scorpio season? That's perfectly fine that it's Scorpio season, but you shining, boo, okay? You are fucking shining. Okay, what happened? Okay. So basically, I just see you putting in work. Putting in work, working on self-care. Not only self-care, oops, sorry. Working on inner beauty, not inner beauty. That wanted to come out. So that's for a small portion of you guys. Working on inner strength and inner beauty. So you see how she's able to tame this lion um, with such finesse and with such grace and be able to be close to him. But you're still very protective of your emotions, okay? So you're not letting it all out. You're not letting it all go. But you are allowing yourself to be a little bit more open emotionally around this person. Because... It's going to be a lot of truth and clarity that comes through with this person. A lot of good conversations. A lot of um, open communication. And for some reason, it feels like it wasn't there beforehand. 
or maybe they didn't offer this to you the first time that they attempted to I don't know approach you or whatever the case may be but something about is different something about is new and it's gonna be a breath of fresh air to you okay all right so I've been doing um, not Oracle yeah I've been doing Oracle decks but as the last deck for every other sign but for you guys I'm gonna use a new deck okay it's called the Crystal Spirit Oracle and we can see what Oracle is gonna work for you like right now during this time period yes Capricorns I get the chance to bust it out and break it out on you mm -mm -mm. okay so I'm seeing selenite at the bottom of the deck selenite is a wonderful light, um, crystal it's a crystal that's equivalent to white light it cleanses everything this is my selenite tower um, you don't have to cleanse it or charge it in the moon during during the new moon or do during the full moon Okay, it is the charger. It is the cleanser If you have somebody in your family that has any aches or pains You can put it on that spot. Let it rest in there for about 15 minutes and the pain will be gone Okay, or you can do your research do some research and figure it out. Ooh, this is different. Okay so Capricorn for this month the angels are recommending raw morganite. I don't know exactly what it is because I've never used it, but I have heard of it before. So I was watching some show on Netflix or whatever, and this guy proposed to his girlfriend, but the girlfriend was like really wealthy and he wasn't that wealthy, but he got her a morganite diamond and not um, like, no, a morganite crystal and not like a diamond. And all the bitches was like, <laughs> He's so cheap. And then when I looked it up, like, he spent like $150 on that engagement ring. He could have did better than that. Like, I feel like some cubic zirconians are, like, a little more expensive than that. Like, I know, but it's a thought that counts. Whatever. Don't give me a fucking Morganite. If my future boo is out there listening, my next husband, don't you give me a fucking Morganite. You either give me... No, it doesn't even have to be a real diamond. I would settle for a man-made diamond because I know that there would be no blood on that diamond energetically. So I would settle for that, but don't give me a fucking Morganite, all right? Or a cubic zirconia. I am a Capricorn still. I am a little um, materialistic. I apologize. But let's go ahead and read what the essential meaning of raw Morganite is. Um, it means sensitivity, gentleness, empathy, compassion, the gift of vulnerability, self-forgiveness. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so Capricorns, you know what you got to do. You have to forgive yourself and you have to be a little bit more vulnerable going forward, especially during this month, which is hard to do. But now that you got the insight on it and you know that you can't fail, why not? All right, Capricorn, that was your reading for November 2020. I enjoyed it. I love you guys as always. Please take the time to give me a heart or click the thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube. Share it if you think it can help somebody. And if you want to book a personal reading, like I said, information is going to be below this video if you're on YouTube. Or if you're on IG, just click on my profile and DM me and we'll set something up. Other than that, bye guys. I love you. Later. Well, 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 you made it to the end of the video. And to reward you, I just want to let you guys know you can be entered in to win a free reading each and every time you see a video. So if you subscribe to the channel and type in I N, meaning that you're in the Light Magic Tribe, uh, you'll be entered in to win a monthly reading. You can also stop at www.lightmagictarot.com and save $10 off of your reading.